Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. Welcome back to a new video. As usual, lots to talk about. Let's just jump on into it. If you haven't seen my channel before, I cover lots of Chinese news, scandals, and updates around two to three times a week. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe and check out my previous videos. All the playlists to my videos are in the description box below, as well as drama titles that were talked about in this video. The first news isn't really a drama news, but it's about a Chinese film called Upcoming Summer. This is a romance youth film starring Wu Lei and Wendy Zhang. It's actually being released on Netflix worldwide on October 3rd. This is a story about two opposites. It's about a girl who failed her entrance exam to college and a young man who has a free soul. He's pretty chill. It's about them becoming super close friends and eventually developing a romance. Wu Lei has definitely gained a lot of popularity with the long ballad. Lots of people are waiting for his upcoming projects like Love Like the Galaxy with Zhao Lu Si. But if you're impatient and you want to see him in something new, this might be a good film for you to watch. We also have Live Your Life, an October 5th premiere drama with 40 episodes starring Elvira Tsai and Lin Yu Shen. This is about a female lead who got into a car accident while she was on the way to register marriage with her longtime boyfriend. Then her boyfriend dumps her and he went overseas. He basically abandoned her. Filled with sadness, she decides to rechange her image and just become a full-time work lady. Everything is about work and she doesn't care about romance at all. But of course, this is when she meets the male lead, and even though he gets on her nerves at first, they do end up building a strong relationship. This is a Hunan TV and Mango TV drama, so if you're waiting for this one, I would say you have to wait like a couple of weeks to a month before they start putting out proper subs. In Yang Yang news, he has announced that instead of acting, he decided to go for a different route for the next couple of months. He will be officially joining the Youth Periplus Season 3 cast or crew. This is a food, friendship, comedy, vacation style game show. The purpose of the show is basically a family road trip or spring outing. So basically they're going to go on different um, vacation stays at various provinces, cities around China. They're going to enjoy you know, local foods, attractions, while playing games and doing challenges. I'm actually excited to see him as a regular cast member. It's also a good chance for him to like take time off and relax while also interacting with other guests or regular members on the show. It will probably show more different sides of him that we're not used to seeing. And it seems like a fun concept too. There was also an announcement about the film adaptation of Fight Break Sphere. They released a statement saying that Victor Ma and Li Jiu Xia will be the main leads. I know a lot of people have been wondering if it's official news that there will be season 2 and I do remember that they did put out a statement saying that there will be a season 2. However, we're probably going to get a different cast for sure, especially since the cast back then with Wu Lei and Jelly Lin definitely blew up and they became popular now. They're quite hard to um, get a hold of, but if they do bring them back, I think that would be amazing. Fight Break Sphere is an action-adventure wuxia fantasy martial arts story about the male lead who has no powers in the world where a lot of people have powers, but one day he finds out that he actually has a secret in his mother's ring that was gave to him where there's this grand master of martial arts in there and he ends up leveling up and on a quest to find out the true reason why his family was killed. Aichi Yi also announced a quite surprising news. We know that Shu Kai was in the news a lot for speculations on his next big project. There was news about him trying to go for a BL drama, but that's probably not the case anymore with the ban happening and all that recent stuff. I covered it in previous videos in my Chinese scandal playlist, so make sure to check that out if you want to know more detailed information. But yeah, that's probably out of the way. There was also rumors that he'll be 
replacing Chris Wu for the golden hairpin since the drama team spent a lot of money on that they don't want to just cut it off yet so they're looking for new actors to come in and replace him and of course we have the rumors about Lost in Kunlun Mountains. Well, it's confirmed that not only has he accepted the project, he's actually completed filming the project as well. And this is an upcoming Aichi Yi adventure fantasy drama starring Shukai, of course, and Elaine Zhang, also known as Zhang Chushi. This is about a kind-hearted man in the Republic of China period where he finds out secrets of the Kunlun Mountains. It's involved with a lot of politics, schemes, and conspiracies. This drama is going straight to my plan to watch or most anticipated list just because the side cast is amazing as well. We have Wayne Wang, which is someone that you might be familiar with if you watch dramas like The Rebel. He was amazing there and his presence is great. So I'm excited to see him here. The current filming Blossoms Shanghai announces the female leads, which is Ma Yi Li and Tang Yan or Tiffany Tang. This drama has 30 episodes and the male lead is Hu Ge, which is definitely up there as probably a veteran A plus tier actor. This is set during the massive economic growth in the 1990s. The male lead is a self-made millionaire and it's his journey from being a young opportunist, his trouble past and struggles until his success of course. This is a historical business romance drama. In other cast confirmation news, we have Lighter and Princess based off of a novel. The cast confirmed that Chen Feiyu and Zhang Jingyi are the official leads for this drama. There's been photos surfacing of Arthur Chen in this beautiful blonde haircut and it's because he plays a bad boy for this role. This is a romance drama between a bad boy male lead and a sweet girl female lead. These two find a lot of common ground though. They're actually very both smart people. They're both into programming and they join this competition together. However, there's another guy in here where I think he gets jealous or he just really hates the male lead. And in general, something happens and a fight escalates. The male lead actually is sentenced to jail and the female lead over this time she's very supportive and she still trusts and believe him. I think this is a really nice concept. I can already tell this is like give me flashbacks to Taiwanese dramas back in the day. A lot of romances were like this in general where there's like a bad boy that's misunderstood but he's actually very sweet and i really like that trope and i don't think we see it as much nowadays and i'm happy that they're bringing it back i mentioned in the last episode that i didn't cover all of the dramas so here are other dramas that release new materials for the mid-autumn festival so we have begin again which released new posters and it stars tao and lorena song or song zu -er. this is a rom-com fantasy drama Made by Tencent Video, it's about the female lead is 28 years old currently and she and her boss has a terrible relationship. They actually knew each other for a long time and for some reason they just always hated each other. But after she gets into an accident and ends up in a coma, her brain state reverts her back to her teenage self in a dream. So surprisingly, she sees different sides to the male lead and between dreams and reality, the two people explore their feelings and go over misunderstandings of the past. The next drama is Fall in Love starring Joey Chua and Kevin Shao. Both are relatively new to acting. I believe this is Joey Chua's first ever role and hopefully she does a good job. I did enjoy her in Youth with You 3, which is why I'm following these actors and actresses in the show. This seems like a typical modern day workplace romance, which follows a CEO romance with a employee. Now for dramas that recently wrapped up, we have Faye and Miles Way in an adventure romance fantasy drama from Mango TV called My Marvelous Fable. It has 12 episodes, but unfortunately doesn't have any synopsis that's out that I could find. But whenever it's close to release, they'll probably release new information about it. This one wrapped up filming on September 28th. 
And last but definitely not least is Love Never Fail, starring Yuan Bing Yan and Liu Shui Yi. This wrapped up filming on September 29th, so hopefully we can see it air during the first half of 2022. Love Never Fails is an upcoming historical romance Xianxia fantasy drama. It's about the years over years of relationships between an immortal king and a little flower demon that slowly becomes an immortal because she falls in love with the male lead and she wants to live with him. However, there's misunderstandings that occur and they go through the reincarnation process where they both chase each other and fall in love over and over again. I'm so excited for this one. I think I talk about this one way too much on this channel, but specifically because I love the main leads. I love Love and Redemption and also the Shansha genre. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the links in the description box or the playlist there. If you haven't checked out my previous videos or if you missed a couple of videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up like subscribe turn on notifications to all and also if you can then please support me on ko-fi if you want to thank you to all those who bought me a ko-fi recently and i'll see you guys in the next video bye